with three legends of Canadian soccer, uh, Julian de Guzman, Carmelina Moscato, Dwayne de Rosario, uh, obviously left their mark on this country as players, but now making a mark as coaches. What's that you know, sort of transition been like for you, Julian? No, it's been pretty exciting and uh, intense as well. You know, I've only been uh, uh, coach for eight months, uh, assistant coach for uh, for the Ottawa Ferry, and now head coach. And for me, uh, getting this experience, uh, get going for the National B, and also seeing legends doing it, I think it's great for the country. What's the biggest difference between being a player and being a coach in your mind? What have you noticed about that transition? Well, I can't think too much like a player anymore. You know, that's the, that's the first thing foremost. Um, and, uh, you know, being able to receive the game and understand it on the, on the sideline. I've learned, uh, you know, from my experience of coaching, you can only coach throughout the week. You can't really coach during a game. And it's getting the message across clearly to the players and, and having them understand it and being able to translate that into the game. Carm, you're working with John Herdman's Excel program and the Rex program. How important is it to have a mentor like John to work with and guide you on your first steps? Uh, you know, I really don't think you can go anywhere without knowing where, uh, what kind of vision you have for yourself, uh, for the program, and knowing that you're part of something bigger than yourself. So I think it, John really um, sets that straight to begin with, and then he's done a good job to, to lead, to lead uh, with breadcrumbs, you know, always keeping it challenging, uh, but leading me in the right direction. So I feel very grateful for that, and uh, all the people that work for, for John uh, feel that way and uh, pushing us to our absolute limits uh, every day. How important is it for the young players as well? Obviously, you're working with uh, the young girls in the Rex program to have an Olympic medalist to come in as a coach now to kind of lend that experience. What's the reaction been like from the players to you becoming a coach? You know, it's been positive. It's been uh, open arms in all the centers. Uh, people have been really just receptive to not only information, but just, you know, building relationships, really saying, you know what, I've been there, I've done it. I know where you're coming from, and I, and I can't wait to understand more. So I think it's a, a lot to do with relationship building, and I'm not too far from the game. So that's really helped. Um, it's, it's been a good transition. Dwayne, you, you made your name in Canadian soccer history and also in Major League Soccer as being a creative, spontaneous goal scorer, someone that could win a game on your own. Uh, would you bring that same kind of style to coaching? Do you, uh, you know, do you do the unpredictable, unexpected, or, or are you more of a, a steady eddy when it comes to your coaching? Um, it, it's a tough one because that's more on um, instinct and that's more on individualism. Um, obviously, coaching is a lot broader. And I think I'm really enjoying this week, and I have a greater appreciation for for the for the process and the, and the coaching process. Understanding, I guess, how to trans translate those feelings and emotions that you'd have as a player to young kids, and how, how to so they can understand. And um, I definitely appreciate that individualism that kids bring. Um, I think it's it's something that we need more of in in, in Canada. So I definitely um, will be uh, preaching that a lot to express yourself on the ball, but also understanding the broader. Um, um, aspect of the game in terms of shape, formation, um, system of play. How, how do you how do you uh, get your team to understand what all that means? And and you, of course, like uh, Karim says, having that vision first, you know, and, and foremost. And I think that's what I really grasp most about this week, and it, it's really been fun. Have you guys been surprised at how much work goes into coaching? Coming out of the playing ranks, you, you know, you, you just look after yourself and you look after your teammates. But have you been sp surprised by the workload in coaching? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, my, my hours have changed. You know, as, as a player, you're, you're on the field for maybe two, three hours, and that's it. But as a coach, I'm, I'm, I'm in the office from uh, eight till sometimes nine, and there's even days where you just don't sleep and you're just always thinking. So it's uh, it's so in intriguing to know that, uh, that there's more to the game than just, just what you see on the field as a player and maybe as uh, someone watching the game. But as a coach and being able to dissect uh, the, the result and the final outcome, it's, uh, it's, it's a very challenging, but it's uh, very pleasing as well. Carmen and John Herdman's obviously one of the hardest working coaches in the country, probably that you've ever experienced. Is it hard to match his work rate? Uh, it keeps me striving every single day. It makes me feel like I'm doing nothing, a drop in the ocean, really. But um, I have a lot of mentors in the program that are, are uh, unbelievably uh, productive and, and do a lot with a lot of heart, too. So they, they keep their energy up, and it's, it's everything to strive for for me. So I, I'm really lucky that I have those people around me. So this week you've had a chance to interact with other coaches on the course, many of whom are working at the grassroots level. How important are these people to the future of the game in our country? It's huge. I think uh, courses like this is, is, is definitely vital towards the development and, and, and to our coaches. I think um, Ray has done a fantastic job and, and uh, Fleming has done a fantastic job of um, uh, 
make us understand that and, and appreciate that. And I think uh, the coaches that we have come out here from various clubs have done a fantastic job. They're committed. And for us as well as, as, as ex-professional players, we're learning new things from them in terms of like dialogue. So everything you see on the field, but off the field when we're together, whether we're at lunch or, or dinner, you know, we're feeding, we're feeding off each other. I think that experience alone is, 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 is huge. Well, it's great to have you guys here. Thank you for everything that you've done for Canadian soccer and continue to do for Canadian soccer. And best of luck on the rest of the course. Thank you. Thank you.